for public broadcasting a private plans to make a different video this week. My intention was that I was going to be making a, a video of me picking up some fitness equipment out in Kansas for the studio that I own. I own a personal training studio in the heart of downtown Lee Summit, but that didn't work out because uh, the equipment's not going to be ready. I uh, guess that video is not going to happen, so I'm going to make a different one. quick trip got the free air free that's a key word right there uh, and you know what I was really surprised I thought these tires would have been hit pretty hard they're large so they can really hide the lower PSI with the sidewall strength I know like in my Jeep if it's running pretty low I won't notice how low they are until they're very low so I thought I might be, you know, half halfway on these, you know, 10 PSI or so. They were all almost perfectly sitting at 30 PSI. Makes me wonder a little bit. I wonder, did the previous owner have them set to 30 PSI? The large tires like this, you know, they can ride a little rough. So if you lower the PSI, you can get a softer ride. So with them sitting at 30, I'm wondering if they were. The tire says take it to 35. I bumped it up to 35 anyway, just airing on the side of maybe they did lose a little air. We were pretty darn cold here for about a week straight. We were in like those negative 15 degrees up here in the Kansas City area. And uh, like I said, I was really surprised. It's got the Pro Comp wheels um, and the tires, you know, they're, they're okay but I was really surprised at the PSI. So, on to the next thing. Nothing too crazy. I've heard worse. 
but uh, you know, with those big mud lugs, I, I wouldn't expect it to be quiet. So, um, but overall, I mean, the extra five psi, which I know isn't a whole lot, but uh, you know, when you figure going from 30 to 35, you know, that's a decent percentage. I uh, I don't really notice a whole lot. So I've noticed my headlights are out of alignment, as in one is higher than the other, and I also feel like at nighttime, I'm not really getting the best coverage. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting it far enough out, so I need to get that fixed. Well, that was pretty darn easy. 530 seconds uh, socket. I just used a screwdriver style attachment. Um, real simple. Let me show you what I got here. So you got your headlight and right there. That's going to be the up down adjustment. As you saw, I mean, it took me almost no time at all. So real simple. Real nice, uh, gets the job done. What are we sitting at here? 750 cold cranking amps. I can handle that. I can handle that. All right, so now we'll see how I ride at night. You know, I would like them a little brighter. I'm hoping this does the trick, but uh, we'll see. So I leveled them out and I brought them up just a smidge. Tire treads on the truck where I park looking like little tank tracks. Thank you for watching my video. I do appreciate it. If you would, hit that like button, maybe leave me a comment, and of course, as always, subscribe. 
If you would, also share my video and channel with your friends. It is much appreciated.